One of the things that I really love sharing is the story of Dexco. When I tell people that in six years we've completed 30 acquisitions or the business has grown from 900 million of sales close to just under 3 billion and EBITDA has gone from 135 to 470 or 480 million this year, people don't hear those kind of stories very often. So it allows me to tell a great story. Dexco was formed in 2016 by bringing together two businesses, Dexter and Alco. By having those very two strong base companies, we've been able to grow on each of them with them as their foundation organically through share gains or new product development or inorganically through M&A. Dexco 2026 consists really of three parts. The first component is 20% plus margins. The second part is grow two times faster than the market. And then the third part is we say 600 million of EBITDA, but we really believe it's going to be 700. The reason we didn't say 2027 is we think that's too far in the future. We have a great competitive spirit that drives our culture at Dexco and it really shapes who we are. For us, transparency is incredibly important. We wanna make sure that our employees understand where we're going and how we're gonna get there because really each of the individuals around the company is important to it. One of our taglines is together is better, and we fully believe that. Whether it's from a business perspective or whether it's from a people perspective, there's a lot of pieces that come behind the Dexco 2026 vision. Key to getting there is really all of our people and making sure that we're all aligned to go in the same direction. And then really making sure that we have good business practices to get there and that we're being thoughtful in how we manage the organization in terms of our financials, in terms of our people, in terms of really our core principles of safety, quality, and customer service. At Dexco, talent is really a critical part of our strategy to being able to reach our vision. And it really is everybody's responsibility to make sure that we're continuing to build that talent bench strength by strengthening themselves, their teams, and the company, then focusing on all of the things that we've shared in the Dexco 2026 vision. I think that we've made such remarkable progress as an organization over the last several years, and there's so much more runway in front of us. Many of the things that we're gonna pursue are going to be opportunities outside the company, so uh, acquisitions in new products, categories, geographies, things that can help us drive our business. Acquisitions are critical to Dexco and who we are. This has enabled us to improve the financial performance of the company and also to establish new lines of growth and, and areas to create advantages for our own existing business. When we buy a business, we typically help grow it and we help improve the profitability of that business. As we acquire new companies, this creates a more diverse, stronger company that participates in more markets, more geographies, which ultimately helps us to take advantage of positive economic environments, but also helps us weather the storm. It's really important when we look at a company to see the types of synergies that we can create when we buy the company. This is a way that we create value. As we think about the opportunities that we typically look at, there are a number of things as a larger company, we can help a smaller company do better, such as driving better purchasing, better logistics, can help maybe with their sales and marketing and help them sell products and reach more customers and more end markets. Going forward, it's very important to look back and to understand what you've done well and what you haven't done. We do this with every acquisition. We're constantly trying to find ways to improve and get better at acquisitions. The balancing act is key to our success. The balancing act is when our pricing plus our productivity and cost management initiatives exceed inflation. When we do these things, we generate a lot of cash. When we generate a lot of cash, we're able to reinvest into our business, into things like people, into products, into buildings, plants, and into acquisition activities. Having a positive balancing act relies on you everybody and the ability for us to reduce costs and the ability for us to increase our margins. From an acquisition perspective, we'll continue to look for acquisitions that have similar characteristics to Dexco. And our reputation depends on everybody doing the right thing. It depends on everybody committing themselves to compliance with laws and the highest standard of ethics. Dexco 2026 will be successful because Really, it's about doing the same things that we've done to be successful in the past years. Because of that, we've built our muscles, and so we're used to it. It's like conditioning for any event. Once you're in shape, you should be able to execute on that. And then finally, and the most important piece, is we have the right people to do it. 
we're doing all the right things, making sure that everybody understands where we're going. But then we also have lots of opportunities for our strong talent in the organization to continue to grow. There's amazing opportunities throughout Dexco and there's more all the time. The more we grow, the more acquisitions that we have, the more opportunities that there are for career advancement within Dexco. I want to say thanks to everyone for taking the time to hear about Dexco 2026. The team has shared a number of things with you today. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. It's an exciting, challenging time in Dexco, and I could not be more proud of what the team has been able to accomplish. I want to remind you of the three components of Dexco 2026. 20% 20 plus margins, grow at two times the rate of market growth and generate 699, which really should be over $700 million of EBITDA. That's an exciting vision. It's an exciting direction. To do that, I need everyone to contribute. The people will make the difference. The team members watching this video will make the difference. I could not thank you more for your support. I could not thank you more for doing what you do every day. Thanks again for listening and truly together is better.